we have our other team members and accountability partners and you know we're discussing finances that's the one thing too we're going to try to do with this is decrease the taboo this is this is a lot for the last couple of minutes yeah. but decrease the tabooness around finances a lot of you don't understand that your financial health is easier to see if not as easy to see as your physical health yes. but the financial literacy rate is just so high that you know a lot of you don't know that people who understand finances can kind of see how much money you do or don't have whether or not you did or didn't pay for that you know sort of like with women you don't ask women their age but i guarantee you they'll tell you when they graduate high school and i'll subtract 18 from that and i know how old you are <laughs> <laughs> right hey I'm, yeah, I had a lady I used to work with. She didn't want to tell me how old she was, but then I said, "Well, you graduated high school." Excuse me, excuse me for the snap. Told me right. She told me, told me instantly, instantly, instantly. So it's like, okay, and that's the same thing with finances. A lot of y'all be like, "Ah, oh, I'm not gonna tell you, you know, how much money I make," as if you make five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I know how much money you don't make, right? I mean, like, you know, not, and it, you're right. And it's not. It's, and it don't even be pocket checking. Like, I mean, when you get to a point where you just your financial literacy to the point where you can just see, you you know how much things cost. It's like with a car. Imagine trying to hide from somebody how much you pay for your car as if I can't Google it and find a dealership because you got the place on it, right? Right. <laughs> y'all, y'all be acting like you'll be making up these car prices. Like, <laughs> people be trying to hide it and, you know, try to decrease. That's the one thing with our group. We are extremely open about our finances. At least me, that's the one thing too. If you, if I don't as well. Yeah, yeah, but I don't um, ask any questions that I'm not willing to answer myself, and I have no issue showing you know how I handle everything. But it's definitely one of those things. The more open you are about sharing your financial situation, the easier it is to to get some type of guidance and help and you know input on that situation. So right, yeah. now yeah, because b- b- back to the team and y'all posting people would make sure your your child is fed if if you die. Your whole team might be struggling financially, right? And someone. Needs, we weren't struggling from an income standpoint. We were struggling from a, well, I was at the time, but we were struggling from a management standpoint and, you know, being clear on what we wanted to do. Which you will clearly see as, uh, as time goes on is a high, a more valuable asset than, than income, you know, right. a, a massive more income, right? You can, you can have tons of money, right? But if you don't know how to manage it, manage it doesn't do yeah. any, yeah. any good at all. It's the net sign by how much money you make, how much money you keep. And that, that's the one thing too. We, I guess it's different for me, but you know, I know how much money a lot of people make. You know, we as our when it comes to our team and our monthly financial calls, like we we all know how much money each of us make. We've all seen each other's budgets. Like it's not. That's why I say your financial health is as easy to see, if not easier to see, than your physical health. Like you know, we just transparent with it. I mean, like I said, it's not like we make not yet, but five hundred thousand dollars a year. We we try we're trying to get there, but you know, it's not like we're making five hundred thousand dollars a year. But you know. It just, just so happens that we're all pretty much in the same field, the IT field. So we know the general ranges and we sort of do that from a job hunting perspective too, but you know how much you should be getting for a particular position. Right. But you know, we, with your team, your close friend, I mean, if y'all don't, don't be afraid, <laughs> you'd be scared to let people know how much money you make. Right. right? It's you gotta have those, I mean, have those conversations. Right. It's, like, especially yeah. now with some people having student loan debt, it's like, I just assume you got student loan debt, right? Like, <laughs> if you if you went to college, exactly. like it just got it's kind of you know guaranteed. Like I I know you didn't pay for the car cash, and you told me you had a car payment for it, right? So, so I, is and again, you might not. I guess you got to say you know your friends might not be your friends, but the you you know you might not be spending the right time with the right amount of people, yes. right? So that that might be the actual issue. If you can't, you know, discuss these things exactly. with your inner circle, and then translate over to fitness as well. If you have, have a fitness goal, you, you need that support on both sides, right? Whether it be fiscally or, or, or from a fitness per- perspective, right? Uh, stating your goals out loud, and then having your support or your team rally around you and help you and be there for you while you take that journey is, is definitely a thing that that you need. So it comes full circle on both sides.